starting time or five minutes early? I'm always early. Late. Nervison said that he could see it, you could see it, the floor could see it, that there was just a little bit of an issue with his placement of his feet, I think he said. Is that how you saw it? I mean, how did you um, view it and how do you correct it? Is it well, easy? it was, a, like he said, it's an issue with his plant foot is what it was. And, um, you know, credit to him, to be honest with you. I think he stood in front of all your cameras after the game and took the lion's share of the responsibility. So we lost by two, you missed, you know, two kicks. So he's had a real good week of practice. Uh, yesterday was a interesting win to say the least. Um, he's practiced really well. Um, he's kicking straight balls on the PATs and he missed two field goals in the game that we'd love to have back, but it's certainly in the rear view mirror. And um, we're moving forward and we'll see what this week brings. Have you been to that stadium? I have, yeah. When I was with the, um, with the Raiders, we played over. Um, no, it's actually it's, it's a great venue to, to play in. Um, the weather's going to be nice. It's interesting because you feel like you're in a dome, but you're not. The sides are all open. Um, but I think weather-wise, uh, there was a little bit of a breeze. The one We played a Monday night game, a little bit of a breeze at one, uh, the one end, but it, it really has never been, I think I've been there three times, it's never been anything excessive um, in any way. So it's a, it's a beautiful venue. They haven't returned many punts, but they have had a couple of big returns on those punts. What have you seen from, from that unit? Yeah, you know, they've been through a couple of different return guys, and now they have, um, you know, Smith back there, and he had the 38-yarder against uh, San Francisco that he actually caught in the red zone. Uh, they did a really good job on it, and he got the boundary, and it actually put him in position to hit, you know, the winning field goal. You know, in the, in the 49er game, they faked a, a punt, I think, on fourth and six, and ended up getting a first down. They continue to drive for him as well. So I think Ch uh, Chase Blackburn's done a really good job of um, working with the culture there, and, and their play style has become a little bit more like he's played. I believe they have seven rookies on their kickoff team right now. So they have a lot of young guys. They, they look like they're extremely hungry. Um, I feel like the culture is changing. Again, Chase is, was a heck of a player in the league, and he's been there a few years now, and I think they're starting to play a little bit of his mentality. and. His play style. They have a rookie kicker who's played well. I think he's missed one. Uh, the punter's in his second year. Um, he has a, an arsenal of, of different punts. In the red zone, he plays with a pretty good flop, and he hits a fat ball, which makes it difficult um, to catch. And he can hit the long ball as well. So this, this will be a good challenge for us. We're excited to go play. Is that the first um, drop kick that you've done for an onside kick? And um, it it wasn't a good kick in that instance, but is that something that you think he would return to? Yeah, I mean, it's he's really actually pretty good at it. He got our guy with it um, in practice the other day, and it wasn't that bad of a kick. It actually bounced off of him and went back out in front. But, you know, with the, the rule the way it is now, I don't know if you guys saw the Monday night game, and um, I explained that to you guys about three weeks ago, you know, about that new rule. You get the ball at the plus 20, uh, and everybody seemed to think no one knew the rule except the guy didn't catch it. So, obviously, on the Titans, he knew the rule. Right, so um, you have a few more options when he has the ball in his hand to do that, and he's been pretty good at the drop kick. Uh, that one didn't go well. I think there's only been one recovery so far this year on onside kicks. I think Dallas did it twice in one game and got one of them. So it's it's a hard play to make. Is the idea for it to take a high hop at some point? Well, I think it's a little bit more of a spin action to it. You know, it's going to hit the ground first, and not the high hops have become actually easier to field. The guy's in front block, and the guy behind makes a a catch behind the blockers. So we were hoping to get a little bit of a kick out or a kick off um, spin to it after it hit off the guy. So it didn't go our way. Let me understand how you get to that point. Had you ever done that in as long as you've done, as long as you've been a special teams coordinator in the league, had you ever called one of those or done one of those? Drop kick? Yeah, we, we've done it before. It's It's been done over the last few years. You know, since I've been here, it's been done. You know, guys have put the ball on the ground, they've run a spin, guys have hit drop kicks. Um, other teams are doing it. Some of them do it with their kicker, some of them do it with their punter. So we have a bunch of them on tape. But Dan is actually pretty good at it. He can, he can actually drop kick through the goalpost, too. Um, speaking of things he's pretty good at, what did you see in real time from the sideline on his punt that was muffed and you guys recovered? And then what did it look like when you watched it back? Well, when you, when you watch it back, I mean, I think the wind caught it right there at the end. And, you know, that was their, their, you know, their number two guy. Powell had gotten banged up and wasn't back there. And the number two guy went in there. And Daniel knew he had the wind and knew he was singled on both sides. So I think he felt like he could get a, 
a really good punt off. You know, I know it was before the, the end of the half, but we only have that, we have one play, right? One chance to make a difference, and they're thinking the same thing. So I think knowing that he had the wind, they're trying to set up for some sort of a possibly a return to maybe get to midfield or somewhere where he could possibly take a shot at a kick. Um, but when he hit it, I just, I, I knew he got a good hit coming out of there. And he actually had a little pressure inside, um, but I felt like, we were, we were going to win the matchup on the outside. Obviously, Bo did a great job going down there. But I saw when the kid, once he backed up and put his hands up, that looks like it's going to be a little bit of an issue. you know. So um, it just ended up being a heck of a punt. And then certainly he got his hands on it. It was a really good play by Bo to, to pick it up, give us a chance to get some points before the half. Last week, I think you said it's part of your job to make sure Keyshawn doesn't get too frustrated. Yeah. Um, another six touchbacks, I think, 16 to 17, you guys would have liked it to be 17 out of 17. How is his frustration level and, and how he's dealing with it? Yeah, I think, you know, I've tried to teach Keyshawn that frustration is kind of a wasted emotion, right? There's a part in there, the definition of frustration is if you can't change it. It's going to change sooner or later. And I think the thing we're trying to really work hard on are the blocks in front. You know, I think we're, we've had an opportunity now in pads two last three Thursdays to practice kickoff returning pads. And hopefully those guys up front are getting better. And I think Keyshawn's made really good team decisions back there um, not to take it out. A couple of them have been three deep or four deep, where I think in the past we would have probably taken some of those out. You know, we took the kick out in Philadelphia because I told him to. You know, that was my fault, and I did a bad job with that, and we didn't do a very good job on the block. So I, I think his time will come, and I think he'll keep making really good team decisions back there, and, and um, we'll see what happens as the weather changes.